Hi viewer, I welcome you to Ring TV. It is the station where you watch and learn. I'll be taking you through geography from Pro lesson number eight. The topic is fishing. I'm your tutor, Lucy Mopa. Welcome. Uh, we are going to look at the lesson goals. One, the definition of the fishing and associated terms. Number two, it is the factors influencing fishing. Uh, we go on by looking at the definitions of terms fishing. Uh, it is fishing itself, it is the exploitation of fish and other aquatic resources for economic purposes. Remember, it is fish and other aquatic resources. And it must be purposely for the economic. The aquatic life may include the crabs, the seals, the lobsters, and also the fish. So it is summing up all the life that is found in the water body. So when we start now get exploiting the water, getting this aquatic life, it is the one that we say, it is the fishing. Oh, this is the aquatic life. As you can be able to see, we have the crabs, we have the prawn, we also have the robusters, all types of the fish. We are there, the cod, the adok. Uh, we also have the earrings, the trout, and the salmon. All of them, they are there. So you can be able to see that we have both the white fish and the ordinary fish. The oily fish, we have them there. So that is what comprises the aquatic. Now, the other term that we want to know, it is the fisheries. When we talk about the fisheries, these are the water bodies or areas where we have fish and other aquatic resources are caught in large numbers. For example, when I talk about the Northwest Atlantic fishing crowd, this is a, an area where we have the fisheries being, uh, or it is a fishery since it is um, a place where we get large numbers of fish. And the fisheries, they are the seas, the lakes, the rivers, dams, ponds, and also the oceans. So it can be either of them. We can get a large number of fish, a large number of aquatic from the seas, from the lakes, from the rivers, even dams, ponds, and also the oceans. The fisheries are also referred to as the fishing grounds. Fish farming, it is the rearing of fish. The farmer creates a conducive environment for fish survival. So that is what we refer to it when we talk about the fish farming, the rearing of fish. This is where now a farmer create an environment for the survival of the fish. Yes, fish was not thriving well in that place. But now we are getting, we are making a conducive place, environment, survival for the fish. Now, what are the factors that influence the fishing grounds? The fishing. One, it is the presence of the predators. Now, when we talk about the fish, and the aquatic life, they feed on planktons. And planktons can be the zooplanktons and also the picoplanktons. So it can both be animals and plants. So the presence of the planktons is the key factor when now we are looking at the fishing crops. The planktons, they don't just grow all over in the water bodies. They just grow in the shallow continental shelf, areas where we have the upwearing of the water, 
or that area where the sunlight can reach. And remember, sunlight cannot go beyond 200 meters below the water bodies. So the plankton, that is the river where you can go and get. So there must be that shallow continental shell in that area. Number two, presence of ocean current. Presence of ocean current. These are the areas that are washed by the cold ocean current. That favors the growth of the fish. Where the cold and warm ocean current converge, favors the growth of the fish. So we are saying that those areas where we have the washing of the cold ocean current will favor the growth of the fish. And also those areas where the two ocean currents converge, both the cold and warm converging. There will be the upward. So the growth of the fish. Number three, it is the nature of the coastline. The intended coastline provides the breeding site for the fish. This is due to the sheltered places for the strong winds and ocean currents. And like those areas, those coastlines, which are uh, irregular. So that is about the nature of the coastline. We also have the availability of the technology. The advanced technology will favor the deep sea fishing and also the methods of the fish preservation should be efficient and modernized. Then we also have the large market. Remember, fish, it is perishable commodity. So it requires the red market after harvesting. So those areas where now we are fishing taking place must have a preparation which is high so that the, it can provide ready market. Then we also have the reliable transport and communication network. From the fishing grounds to the market which is necessary since it is perishability of the fish. So that perishability requires the reliable transport and communication network in the fishing ground. From the fishing ground to the market, they must be well organized. Then we also have the availability of capital. Remember, for the advancement of the technology, for the reliable transport and communication, we require a substantial amount of money in order for us to invest now in fishing. That marks the end of our lesson, the first activity defined by fishing. And then explain four factors that influence, influence fishing. Um, reference get the KLB 2003 secondary geography student book for that edition. Or you can contact us uh, through the SMS. -ing. You can also get us from the YouTube. You can also get us from the Facebook. Uh, you can also Twitter us through that. Otherwise, stay tuned to your YouTube. Thank you.